a not own darling. An interesting film that I've seen 20 years ago when I was 15. I'm joking, I was old. Uh, and I know I was impressed because uh, uh, this darling, this, this girl, this, this couple girl uh, was indeed very classy, uh, somewhat sophisticated at one point. And I was uh, young and enchanted by this blonde, good-looking, attractive woman. And, um, um, Julie Christie is the one playing. Uh, Dick Bogart is in another lead role. And also the other characters have a, have a charm. Uh, even the man she's cheating with uh, is, is, is very, very interesting. Uh, arrogant and precious and pretentious uh, in, in, in most situations, but with a refinement. With a, with a degree of uh, aristocracy about him. And speaking of aristocracy, indeed, uh, uh, Darling uh, becomes uh, very close to a uh, prince uh, at one stage. I will not get into details, and there's no spoiler alert, and I don't want to, to talk about the end. But, uh, but, um, there is a, 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 um, uh, an effervescence, uh, a, a sparkling atmosphere quite often. There are some parties which have this um, uh, degree of, uh, of degeneracy. They, they remind one of La Dolce Vita, only they're not as bad as that. In, in La Voce Vita, if you remember, at one point, Marcello Mastroianni, I mean, he's the character he plays, who's also called Marcello, is riding on a woman. There's a woman on all fours, and uh, don't think any sexual connotations here. But she's riding like on a donkey or a horse on top of her. And that, I thought that's not the, the zenith of... of, of uh, Degeneracy, but still it is it is decadent and, and despicable in many ways. So we're not going as far as that. It's just at one point there's this dance and they start taking clothes off. And I was thinking of another film, again, um, Eyes Wide Shut, Stanley Kubrick's last with Nicole Kidman and uh, <laughs> the man, the actor I used to like. Uh, but when I learned about his role in Scientology, I started hating the figure, Tom Cruise. Uh, so my eyes were shut again. There's that scene where they have masks and people naked, and I was thinking, this is what happens here. But no, they changed. They they dressed differently, at least for what we see in the film of the show. So, in the first place, the character of Dick Bogard is married and he has, he meets this woman he, he, he loves uh, for some time. Uh, charming, blonde, wonderful. Uh, starts cheating on his wife, but throughout, his, his character is, for me, rather positive. Uh, complex, the dark side, this philandering is not to be appreciated, of course. Uh, but uh, he's intellectual, he has these interviews, uh, especially one is interesting with, a, with a, 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 an illuminary, a, a man of, of uh, great distinction, who gives them, by the way, a, a, a painting. But the woman is bored, I was also uh, realizing that this is a, 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 an, a, a, an important moment of, of freedom, sexual freedom and, and Freedom for women who were getting uh, e 
equal rights, so to say, uh, accepted, acknowledged, they, they can do whatever they like, and the main character does just that uh, most of the time, in my view. That is, uh, enjoying uh, freedom. <laughs>